plan. Hey there, everybody, and welcome back to part two of how I spent my summer vacation. My friends at Austrian Airlines are taking me on a week-long mountain adventure vacation with my dad. Andres couldn't join because he only got one week off from work for this vacation and decided to do Italy with our moms instead. Moms are important. I'm not saying he made the wrong choice, but he's going to feel like he did. My dad's teaching me something about uh, Austrian cuisine. What was that again? At every meal, you gotta have a wiener. Them's the rules. We're staying at the SO Hotel in Vienna. My dad got in a couple hours before me and laid claim to the three bedroom penthouse suite. Dad, I'll tell you right now, you are so lucky that today is your 78th birthday because I would have made you switch back. We're on our way to Salzburg. This train was really full, so we had to sit in a quiet car. I moved to a car where I can talk to you guys. We're headed to Salzburg. They are taking us on the Sound of Music tour. Everybody meet my new friend, Roman. He's gonna be our tour guide for Salzburg, which is an incredible city with tons of history. But the real story here is the leather leader hosen. Can I borrow those? Sure. Okay. Right now. Mm. Roman has a fun fact while my dad is back there. Ah, we are in Mirabel Gardens, the beautiful cruising area for the gay people in the city. Write that Especially down. Especially at night. Please Probably only come and at see. only mm -hmm. at night. Oh, he's here. I'm not saying I'm feeling the leader hosen. I'm not saying I'm not. They made me carry the boombox. Mary Poppins was so good in this movie. She knows it. She knows the song. Come on, boys. There you go. Everybody. Boys, too. It's the sing along tour. We got to do this together. We are all in this together. I don't actually know the words. Dad, I don't hear you singing. I took you all the way to Austria to do the Sound of Music sing along bicycle tour, and you're not even singing. This vacation is over. I'm not gonna lie. I've got a bit of Paris syndrome right now. This is the only the third time we've heard Do Re Mi, and already no one's singing along. I'm gonna. I. I. That will bring us back to Do. A deer, a female deer. Dad, it's like you aren't even trying. It's you have to move the camera like you're a drone. You can't just stand there. And, you're ruining the whole video. So they took the speaker away from me. They said I was singing too aggressively, which I don't think is fair. But you know what? Let's be back here. It's gonna be fine. It's raining today here at the Hotel Schloss Leopoldskron. I think they know I'm leaving. I don't want to leaving, but we're leaving. See you in Innsbruck. Okay, while we're waiting for our train, we're gonna take a moment and thank our sponsors at Austrian Airlines. The trip was unbelievably fantastic. It was like flying on an American airline 20 years ago. Now, my dad wanted to make a special shout out to his stewardess, what was her name? The stewardess was Janine, Janine. lovely. Just very attentive. So Janine at Austrian Airlines, I will include my dad's phone number in the comment section of this video if you'd like to get in touch so he can properly thank you for your service. Welcome to Innsbruck, everybody. Uh, we are here to do all of the adventure sports. I'm not gonna lie, I miss having Andres here to pull silly faces while I give the obligatory narration. I can't do it, he's so good at it. This is Antonella. She'll be showing me around Innsbruck. I've got my horse meat Fleischkasse sandwich and I'm ready to hit the town. How's your horse? By the way, there's, ha, there's one coming now. Oh no! <laughs> I will always love you. Innsbruck has invited me to a Tyrolean folk show. It is literally the whitest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Don't believe me? Check it out. There we go. 
go. Fun fact about lederhosen, you are actually supposed to pee in them when you first get them to break them in. Yes, true story, man. True story, man. It's day five, and I finally found myself a lesbian take me up on the mountain. This is Laura. Life is always more fun with a helmet. Laura here is showing me how uh, lesbians do it in the Alps. Oh yeah, I'm not safe for work. Okay. Our lawyer said that we need to remind you to always wear a helmet. This is for everybody who talks about how Europe is too regulated. This is legitimately an ad for Pall Mall cigarettes. Okay, everybody, the Austrians are taking me bungee jumping. If you look over here, you will see where I'm going to die. I was considering backing out, but the guy operating is really cute, so I don't want to let him down. See? Okay, so I've heard a couple of rumors about bungee jumping, and I'm, I'm a little bit nervous. First is, uh, can your eyes pop out of your head? Yes. Can I get chlamydia from this? Absolutely. Spine injury? Yes, of course. Am I gonna die? Probably. Should I close my eyes when I jump? Absolutely not, you wanna see death coming. Uh, should I tuck? I brought duct tape. Tucking is very important. Can I go naked? If you'd like to, but I'm pretty sure it'll just hit you in the face. Just in case, this is my last will and testament. Um, Andres, please take care of Sarge. That's all I really care about. Are you gonna jump or what? Hey, Laura, um, why did the lesbian get sick? Why? She was lacking vitamin D. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Am I dead? Yes. Is this heaven? Yes. Are you God? Yes. I knew God was a dyke. Reached my peak lesbian form with these boots. Uh, you can go more lesbian. Now you've reached peak lesbian form. They said I had to wear glasses for this one. Red pill or blue pill, baby. These are our friends at Innsbruck Tourism. We are, that's pushed out, push. <laughs> Today we're going paragliding. I may look like a caterpillar, but I will soon be a butterfly. Yeah! What he said. <laughs> Today, I'm the little spoon. Andres asked if I wanted to borrow his drone. I was like, no. It is really early this morning. Everybody meet my friend Felix. He will be tying me up. No, we're going rock climbing. <laughs> we're gonna start climbing as soon as I finish a very traditional Austrian breakfast. I'm currently feeling a little lied to. Felix said that I had to take my shirt off as quickly as possible if I want to be a real rock climber. Yet we've got Felix here still wearing his shirt. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to take my shirt off too. Felix and I are playing a game of horse which is kind of like the basketball version, except if I don't climb his line correctly, I get an H. Basically, my goal is to last for at least an hour before I lose. We've got one last pit stop before I head home. I'm in Vienna, we're staying at the 25 Hours Hotel. They got me a room that has so much space for activities. My dad likes it so much that he's staying in Vienna for another week. Good job, guys. He's your problem now. New York, we need to talk. Every single taxi I've been in in this country is clean, incredible, and smells delightful. Get your act together. Last comparison of Vienna with New York, and I promise I'll shut up. I'm doing a cover shoot for Vanguardist magazine. Hi, Nico. And let's be real, they're being very professional. They've offered me champagne. It's kind of more like a party than a photo shoot, so the bar is kind of high. I made it to Vienna just in time for the last night of Fashion Week. I'm about to sneak into the last show. I'll see you in there.
I'm gonna be a fashion blogger, I'm gonna be super high-end, Calvin Klein's gonna hire me next season. This is Ilya with True You. I'm sorry man, it's already over, we're packing. You, you are too late. That's why the racks are empty? I'm sorry. Damn it. You fucked up. Well, I didn't make it in time for Fashion Week, but I did get to the airport in time to hang out in the business lounge. All right, time to go home. I keep making clips thinking it's the last video I'm gonna do for this trip, but somehow this trip just keeps getting better and better. Austrian upgraded me to business, the chef just came over and shook my hand. Apparently everybody in business gets their own chef. There's one chef for everybody in business class. Okay, that's not true, but we got goodie bags. I got a big comfy grandma style blanket. I'm gonna go to bed and I'll see you guys in America whenever I decide to do a video next.